We introduce the antagonistic pneumatic artificial muscle, or APAM. This actuator has a high extension ratio, can apply both pushing and pulling forces, and is capable of independent control of length and stiffness. The actuator is composed of two membranes nested inside each other and braced with rigid discs, forming an inner and outer chamber. When pressure is added to the outer chamber, the inner membrane wrinkles inwards, forming an hourglass shape and causing a contracting force. Pressure in the internal chamber acts antagonistically and causes an extension force. Vacuum can also be applied to the inner chamber. When the actuator is at low length, pressure in the outer chamber exerts an extension force, which acts antagonistically to the contraction force exerted by vacuum in the inner chamber. The membrane is flexible but not stretchable, meaning that deformation occurs by wrinkling. The inner membrane wrinkles longitudinally, while the outer membrane wrinkles circumferentially. We use the principle of virtual work to develop a model relating the input pressures to the actuator to the resulting force and stiffness. We imagine a virtual axial displacement and equate to zero the sum of the work done by the two pressure chambers and the work done by the axial force. Computing the work done by the pressure chambers requires computing how the volume of the inner and outer chambers change with actuator length. We analyze the membrane shape and compute the volumes of the inner and outer chambers as shown in this plot. This plot compares force displacement curves predicted by the model with experimental data. This model is able to predict the change in force output with changes in both the inner and outer pressure with reasonable accuracy. This plot shows no load length on the horizontal axis and actuator stiffness on the vertical axis. The contours of constant inner and outer pressure show that it is possible to independently change actuator length and stiffness. This plot also allows quantification of achievable stiffnesses given certain pressure limits. To demonstrate the ability of the outer chamber to apply both pushing and pulling forces depending on actuator length, the outer chamber of this actuator is divided into three sections that run the length of the actuator. As internal pressure is changed from positive to negative, pressure in the one-third of the outer chamber exerts first a contraction and then an extension force, changing the direction of curvature. The characteristics of the APAM make it especially well suited for use in a truss robot, or a robot formed by linear actuators connected into a truss-like network. Here we show the APAM in use in a partial tetrahedral robot, where three edges are APAMs. The high extension ratio of the actuator can be seen, as well as their ability to apply force in both the pushing and pulling directions. In these videos, actuator speed is limited because pressures are controlled manually. In general, the speed of the actuator is limited by flow rate into the actuator chambers. Future work will analyze these actuators in buckling and bending. These actuators are fabricated from acrylic discs and low-density polyethylene tubing. The APAM is an actuator capable of high extension ratio, applying pushing and pulling forces, and independent control of length and stiffness.